What's up, GitHub? I'm Nikki. I hope everyone's okay during these difficult times. I'm sure it can be hard on some families, but please hang tight and we're going to get through this together. Also, I'm glad that we have this opportunity with these virtual conferences to try to stay connected at these difficult times of isolation. Okay, so why am I here? Well, it's a GitHub conference, and of course, this is my GitHub handle. Uh, I want to share with you a productivity tip, which uh, especially for people who love shortcuts and optimizations, I'm sure will be greatly uh, beneficiary for them and uh, would uh, gain significant productivity out of it. So let me jump to my screen right now and uh, directly explain what I mean. So. Uh, this is my ID, and uh, as you know, IDs provide us with lots of cool functionalities, but I'm going to focus on particularly one, th one thing, and it's file retrieval. How do we do that? Well, lots of IDs provide us with these quick find menus, which allow us to maybe write a file name, and it would directly jump to this file, and you can review it, play around with it, or whatever. You can even uh, provide a whole file path, and this would jump to the specific path again, and you can play around again. And this happens to be very convenient, by the way, when you're doing code review. And I do it all the time when working on GitHub, because uh, if you have seen maybe for half a year now, GitHub has provided us with an option when you're reviewing a specific file, you can click on this button here, which is uh, a clipboard, uh, clipboard icon, which essentially copies the file path to your clipboard. And uh, this way you can jump to your ID and uh, paste the file path and you can jump to this file. And this is really cool. If you don't, if you haven't done this, I suggest you make the habit of doing this. And this is my tip for everyone who doesn't do this. It will increase your productivity for sure. But uh, I'm here for something more. So uh, from my experience, I found that this isn't the best uh, use of uh, my time. And maybe it were, more precisely, it's not the most efficient way of um, working from the browser to the ID. And so I needed maybe something more efficient. So let me try to explain. Let's say that we're reviewing this file here and we're really focused on this section here. And we want to go to our ID to maybe get some more context and play around with the code. So what would I have to do to go to exactly this point in my ID? Well, like I said, I would have to break my focus and go to the top and copy the file path, right? So I click it. Then I would have to engage my short-term memory and further uh, lose my focus by trying to remember this line number here so I can go to exactly it. I would go to my ID, I would paste the file path, and then I would have to manually write out the line number that I just saw there if I even remember it correctly. <laughs> and boom, we're there. So this was relatively fast, but if you caught me hinting, there are some negative consequences. So not, not only is this uh, uh, harder and maybe uh, takes more time than it should, but it also breaks your focus, having to remember, having to go to the top of the file, and also engages your short-term memory unnecessarily. So what I decided to do was fix this. What I did was a plugin called uh, Line Clipper. It's for your browser. And uh, what essentially it does is it allows you to, when you're focused on a particular point in your uh, GitHub review, you can simply click on the line number and it will. this would copy the file path to your clipboard along with the line number suffix to it. And then you can simply go to your ID, paste this, and go to this file. Voila. And this is the essence of what I wanted to show you, frankly. And the solution is more generic than that because it works on every GitHub file which has line numbers. So if I open this file here, we can see line numbers and I can copy that to my clipboard and it works fine. It's especially helpful if also if you're uh, opening a brand new pull request and you just want to skim over what this, the discussion is going, uh, uh, is, what, is, what the discussion is about, what's been commented. So for example, this snippet here, maybe I'm interested enough and I want to go to the uh, ID and check it out. So I can simply again, click on this line number and then open my ID, paste it, and boom, I'm there. Okay, so this was basically it. The You can find the plugin, the source code. It's an open source project, and I, I'll be glad for your contributions. Maybe GitHub will eventually make this natively to the GitHub platform, but this was basically it. You can find a link to the plugin itself in my repo. And uh, yeah, thank you for your time, and stay safe.